when you do hip replacement, you're going to you're going to replace both the ball and the socket. Is that right? That is correct. Yes, sir. And can you approach different ways, front and back? How, tell me about yeah. the surgery. The, the good news today is we have a number of different options to approach the hip and. The, the most common way in the past has been through what we call a posterior approach. In other words, if you look at the front of your hip and you consider that the anterior aspect or the front, and then there's a posterior aspect, kind of where you put your wallet in your pocket, uh, the, can, the normal incision would be a, an incision in the back, posterior, directly over the hip joint. So we'd have to split some muscle, and then from there we'd be right down on the hip joint, we'd have to dislocate the hip joint, and then in that process what we do is we replace the, hip, the ball with a metal ball and a stem that goes inside the bone marrow and then the stem is is held together in one of two ways it's either cemented into the hip joint with a, a glue that we call methyl methacrylate it's a bonding agent that's a big long name that's a big long name <laughs> but more commonly we put the hips in without cement in a, in a technique where the the bone from the body will actually grow in and around the stem as we call Do you it you like that better does it that's a permanent fix if it's the a, bone grows around itself permanent fix you have to have good enough bone and, uh, to, for that to happen. So there are some patients that their bones are just not good enough for that process to develop. Is so, that somebody with osteoporosis, weak, brittle bones type situation? That is correct. Can you tell before you go into surgery by looking at x-rays what you predict as far as that goes? You can generally tell what the bones look like on x-ray. Yes, you sure can. When you're in the posterior approach and you open it up and there you are, then tell me what, what happens. So, this, so like I said, we put the stem inside the bone marrow, one of those two ways. And then on the socket side, it's replaced with a metal shell or cup. And then there's a liner or insert that's usually made out of plastic or polyethylene. So when we put the, the joint together, the ball and the socket replace the worn out ball and socket of your hip joint. Uh, so what other approaches can you do? Do you have to do the posterior? Is it easier? What's the, it's, what you know, It's the one that most surgeons are trained on. So in the residency, that's the, the common way to do it. The, there, there's another approach which has more recently been developed where it's called an anterior, it's directly in the front of the hip. It's called a direct anterior approach. In this approach, we go in and instead of cutting any of the, the back muscles, we can cut the front muscle or the front capsule, the front lining. But now if you bend your hip to a 90 degree angle, there's no risk that that's gonna dislocate or pop out. It so seems like that would be a better approach. It's, it's a, a much better approach. And, it, and the other benefit is these patients really rehab much faster. So. Uh, I've done this a posterior approach through what we call a minimally invasive technique, which has been great, but this anterior approach, patients recover even faster. So Tell me about it. Give me some vignettes, some stories. Somebody has anterior approach, and what do they tell you when they come back? How soon? Well, the first thing is a lot of these folks will get out of the hospital in two days as opposed to three or four, so they're going to gain a day you know, getting out of the hospital. Normally, they'll come back to see me for my, their two-week visit. Many of them are on a cane. Some of them come in without a cane which is amazing. And normally I'd expect the patients to be on a cane for three to four weeks. So these folks in two or three weeks are off their canes. By the six week visit when they come in, you wouldn't even know they had their hip replaced. It's truly amazing how fast they recover.